Instagram. Everyone's got it wrong. What Australia just witnessed last week was a great act of kindness and an ambitious attempt from an amateur anara to enter the big boys club. Let's put this in context. Big tech companies like Facebook and Google have been stealing and storing your data for years now. And then out of nowhere came this aspiring geek with a soft heart and everyone lost their shit. See, I believe we should focus on the other side, which clearly shows that this was done out of concern for the company, Optus, and us the consumers. This was done to show that it can be done. It's a profession and intervention. Look it up, bug hunter. The hacker has since apologized and said they would have reported the problem if they could do that. Sounds to me like they need a career in social services. Now everybody is complaining how Optus has done too little to remedy the problem. But I must know that at least the vice president came out and noted the sophistication of the breach. I mean, it must have been so hard for the hacker to access the data that was left out on an open test server. Because why does it have to be evil, inconsiderate, incompetent, unfair, and not bold, ambitious, daring? I'm sure we can all agree this is not the year for Optus or its chief optimism officer, Gary Ricardo. One is paying millions to save the contacts and the other is being paid millions to end the contract. And honestly, data, internet, hackers, this is all made up bullshit. The true enemy is inside you. And the real threat is not your money, but your inner peace. So go. Take new pictures for your passports and driver's license, which you don't even have to pay for now. And just be happy, God damn it. I think I'm done. Goodbye, Ren.